brothers and sisters in Islam, Allah Azza wa Jal, the Almighty, has honored and blessed humanity at large. And the believers in particular, by sending Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, conveying his message. Allah says, لَقَدْ مَنَّ اللَّهُ عَلَى الْمُؤْمِنِينَ إِذْ بَعَثَ فِيهِمْ رَسُولًا مِّنْهُمْ Allah has conferred a great favor upon the believers by sending to them a messenger from within themselves, from amongst themselves. يَتْلُوا عَلَيْهِمْ آيَاتِهِ وَيُزَكِّيهِمْ وَيُعَلِّمُهُمُ الْكِتَابَ وَالْحِكْمَةِ Reciting his verses, purifying them, and teaching them the book, meaning the Qur'an, and wisdom, meaning the sunnah. وَإِنْ كَانُوا مِنْ قَبْلُوا لَفِي ضَلَالٍ مُّبِينٍ Though before that, they were clearly astray. Allah Azza wa Jal raised the rank of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, distinguished him with many merits sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and blessed him with abundant praiseworthy manners, some of which were his love to humanity, his kindness, his keenness to guide them. And if it was not for him being so keen, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, striving hard, struggling, and sacrificing, this religion would not have reached us. So we owe him a lot. His rights upon us are plenty. As a matter of fact, after Allah the Almighty the Exalted, no human has more right upon the believers, upon humanity, than Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The most important right he has upon us is that we believe in him. As Allah Azza wa Jal says, Aminu billahi wa rasulih. Believe in Allah and his messenger. Belief in Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is half of the testimony of faith. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa Allah wa ashhadu anna Muhammad al-Rasool Allah. Coupled together. So it is half of the first pillar in Islam. It is part of one of the pillars of faith, which is belief in messengers. Ibn Taymiyyah rahmatullah alayhi said, Belief in Allah azza wa jal will not be complete, will not be correct, if it is not coupled with belief in Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Belief in him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is believing that he was the prophet and the messenger of Allah. Is to believe that he was sent to mankind and jinn. Is to believe everything he conveyed and that it was from Allah. And to believe in all the unseen he informed us with whether it is about the previous nations or things to come. Another very important right of the rights of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is to love him. Abdullah ibn Hisham, and this is reported by Al-Bukhari, said, we were sitting with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam while he was holding the hand of Umar radiallahu anhu. And Umar said, 
O Messenger of Allah, I love you more than anything and everything except my own self. See, Umar didn't know that this is not correct. So the Prophet ﷺ said, No, O Umar, I swear by the one in whose hand my soul is, your faith will not be complete until you love me. Then you love your own self. Immediately Umar submitted radiallahu anhu. He said, you are now more beloved to me than my own self. He said, now, just now, your faith is complete, O oh Umar. Loving Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa is part of faith. Not just any love. You have to make him dearer. You have to fear that he's more beloved than everything and anything. Yourself, your parents, your wife, your children, your property, your wealth, everything and everyone comes second. After Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. His right is to be followed. Allah azza wa jal says, وَاتَّبِعُوهُ لَعَلَّكُمْ تَهْتَدُونَ Follow him. Follow his way. Follow his sunnah. That you be guided. See, guidance is strictly attached to following the sunnah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, to following the way of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We are obliged to follow the sunnah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We are obliged not to give preface, preference to anyone or any saying before Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Simply because when you say Ashhadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah in the testimony of faith, you are saying, I testify that no one has the right to be followed but Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We have to obey him. One of his rights is to be obeyed. Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu ati'u allaha wa rasoola. O you who have believed, Obey Allah and His Messenger. The Prophet ﷺ said, and this is reported by Al Bukhari, he said, Kul ummati All my nation will enter Jannah, illa man aba, except those who refuse. Refuse. Who would refuse to go to Jannah? So the companions asked this very question. Who would refuse? He said, Man ata'ani dakhal al-Jannah. He who obeys me will be admitted into Jannah. Waman asani dakhal al-Nar. And he who disobeys me will be thrown in hell. See, these rights are very essential, very crucial. Another right is that we do not worship Allah except through Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Meaning, through things he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam conveyed to us and legislated to us that were revealed to him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah azza wa jal says, فَمَنْ كَانَ يَرْجُوا لِقَاءَ رَبِّهِ فَلْيَعْمَلْ عَمَلًا صَالِحًا وَلَا يُشْرِكْ بِعِبَادَةِ رَبِّهِ أَحَدًا So whoever fears the meaning of his Lord, meaning he fears the punishment and hopes for the reward, then let him perform a deed that is صالح. And let him not associate with Allah Azza wa Jal anything. A deed that is salih, as the scholars explained, they said it is the deed that is in accordance 
with the Sunnah of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Ibn Kathir commenting on this verse said, "These two matters, being sincere to Allah, not associating anyone with Allah azza wa jalla when performing a deed, and performing performing it." According to the Sunnah of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, are pillars without the fulfillment of which deeds are rejected, as the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, and this is also in the book of Imam al Bukhari. He said, "Whoever introduces or performs a deed which is not in accordance to the matter of ours." His Sunnah, it will be rejected. So, his right is that we worship Allah Azza wa Jal according to His guidance, because His guidance, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, are also revelations. His Sunnah, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, is not something out of His own mind or desire or wish. As Allah Azza wa Jal says, "وَمَا يَنْطِقُ عَنِ الْهَوَى." He does not speak out of desire. In huwa illa wahyun yuha. It is none but revelation which was revealed to him. أَقُولُ مَا تَسْمَعُونَ وَأَسْتَغْفِرُ اللَّهَ لِي وَلَكُمْ فَاسْتَغْفِرُوهُ إِنَّهُ هُوَ الْغَفُورُ الرَّحِيمُ الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله. One of the rights of Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم is that we exalt his mention, saying اللهم صل على محمد أور صلى الله عليه وسلم. The Prophet ﷺ said, and this is reported by a Tirmidhi, classified as sound by Al Albani. He said, "Those who are more deserving of my company or intercession on the day of judgment will be those who exalt my mention the most." ﷺ. And he warned, saying, "Al-Bakhilu man dukirtu indahu falam yusalli alayhi." The stingy person is he before whom I am mentioned, and he does not exalt my mention. Scholars commented on this, saying, "This includes hearing his name, writing his name, or reading his name." In all these situations, you say "Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam." So, when you're reading a book and says that says the life of Muhammad, and they don't have "Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam" there, you say "Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam." When you're writing Prophet Muhammad, you say "Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam." And naturally, when you hear his name, Muhammad "Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam." You also exalt his mention, عليه الصلاة والسلام. Another right is to honor and respect Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم. One might say, "Well, he's dead, عليه الصلاة والسلام." Yes, but his Sunnah is alive. Respecting him and honoring him, عليه الصلاة والسلام. Is by honoring and respecting his sunnah. This is a sign of love of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Respecting him and honoring him is to defend his sunnah. Is to defend him when you hear or see someone mocking him. Or speaking ill about him, or trying to ruin his image and reputation, عليه الصلاة والسلام, it is his right upon me and you to to defend him, عليه الصلاة والسلام. 
to refer all our matters to his judgment is another right. Allah Azza wa Jal says, فَإِن تَنَازَعْتُمْ فِي شَيْءٍ فَرُدُّوهُ إِلَى اللَّهِ وَالرَّسُولِ إِن كُنْتُمْ تُؤْمِنُونَ بِاللَّهِ وَالْيَوْمِ الْآخِرِ If you dispute, if you disagree upon a matter, then return it or refer it to Allah and His Messenger. If you believe in Allah and the Day of Judgment or the Hereafter. As a matter of fact, Allah Azza wa Jal says, فَلَا وَرَبِّكَ no, by your Lord, Allah is swearing by Himself. فَلَا وَرَبِّكَ No, by your Lord, لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ They are not believers. حَتَّى يُحَكِّمُوكَ فِي مَا شَجَرَ بَيْنَهُمْ Until they make you judge over matters which they disagree upon. ثُمَّ لَا يَجِدُوا فِي أَنفُسِهِمْ حَرَجًا مِمَّا قَضَيْتْ And then, they find no discomfort within themselves, in their hearts, regarding your judgment. And submit in full, complete, willing submission. See, the first is to, com to confirm belief, to refer to the Judgment of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to refer to the book of Allah and the sunnah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam for judgment actually is to confirm our belief. The second one though is not a confirmation or does not rise to the confirmation of belief, belief yet it is second in rank after that. And the last one which is full submission, will and submission is the state of perfection of faith the believer reaches. The Prophet ﷺ struggled, strove hard, sacrificed a lot. Why? To convey the message of Allah To make this religion reach us. So it is his right upon us that we convey his message. To others. He said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and this is reported by Al Bukhari and Muslim, convey from me, even if it was only one single verse, one verse. It is his right to convey his message, to carry that mission as our own mission. And finally, is to love him so much, but without exaggeration. See, there are two opposite ends, both of which are dispraised. Negligence regarding Muhammad wasallam and extravagance, exaggerating in raising his rank. That's why he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, and this is again reported by Al-Bukhari and Muslim. He said, لا تطروني كما أطرت النصارى عيسى بن مريم. عيسى بن مريم. Do not exaggerate in praising me like the Christians exaggerated praising عيسى, the son of Maryam, alayhi salatu wa sallam. And then he clarified. So what's the way? What is not exaggeration? He said, Innama ana Abdullah. I am but a slave of Allah. So say, Abdullah wa Rasul. The slave of Allah and his messenger. Don't exaggerate. See, throughout the his Islamic history, we've had sects that made Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam a peer parallel to Allah azza wa jal. They gave him, they raised him to a rank which no one is entitled to. A rank 
that is only exclusively to Allah Azza wa Knowing the unseen, healing, bringing sustenance, this and that. All of which contradicts the instructions of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, whom they claim love for and therefore exaggerated in raising his rank. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Brothers and sisters, loving Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Obeying Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, following the guidance of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, has a nice prize at the day of judgment. It makes us deserving of being in the company of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In the book of Imam al Tabarani and classified by Al Albani as authentic. Aisha radiallahu anha narrates that a man walked to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam once and he said, O Messenger of Allah, I swear by Allah that I love you more than I love my own self. I love you more than I love my family and wealth. I love you more than I love my child. And I would be sitting at home and thinking about you and will not have patience. So I hasten to you so that I can see you. But then I start thinking that we will both die and that on the day of judgment, you will be raised to the rank of messengers and prophets. And if I happen to enter Jannah, I will not be. I will not be at that level. I will not reach that level. So the Prophet ﷺ refrained from talking. He had no revelation concerning this matter. There is nothing to say. He speaks only after he is being revealed to. It's not, a, it's not a matter of a reaction out of his own desire. Then Allah Azza wa sent down Jibreel alayhi salam with the first وَمَن يُطِعِ اللَّهَ وَالرَّسُولَ فَأُولَٰئِكَ مَعَ الَّذِينَ أَمْنَعَمَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِمْ من النبيين والصديقين والشهداء والصالحين وحسن أولئك رفيقا Whoever obeys Allah and the Messenger those will be with prophets steadfast affirmers of truth Martyrs and righteous and excellent are those as companions. The choice is ours. Do we want that company of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? See, the issue is not just words. It's not to simply nod our hands. The proof is our action. When you walk up to a person who's shaved, clean shaved, and you say, Brother, this contradicts the instruction of Muhammad Sallallahu He commands that you grow your beard. He forbids that you shave your beard. Yeah, okay. Then, I'm sorry, but that's theoretical love. It's not a practical one. The love the obedience, following Him, are all matters that are to be put in practice, proved by evidence. Otherwise, anyone can claim love. Anyone can claim love. When you say to a brother, your daughter or your wife or your sister, 
is not adhering to proper hijab. This contradicts the instructions of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Oh, I can't do anything. I can't force her to do that. Oh, she says, I'm too young for this. Oh, it's too hot. Or it's too this, or it's backwardness, or it's not, it doesn't coincide with fashion. Whatever silly excuses you hear, that's not love. That's not obedience. And if those people, if such people claim that, it's a mere claim. That lacks proof in reality. We ask Allah Azza wa Jal to fill our hearts with the love of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and to make us follow in the footsteps of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Make us obedient to the Sunnah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the instructions he came with. Make us obedient to the legislations he came with Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And not to deprive us because of our shortcomings from being in the company of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allahumma Ameen.